Marcy, Mark, let me know when the recording is kicked off. It we is. are recording. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mortgage Coach Friday Mastermind. It is 9.01 and it's live in Facebook, so you can watch this. Uh, might be a better way to consume the data and watch it in our Facebook Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind. Uh, I will be following that, so if you have questions, comments, takeaways, feel free to engage in Facebook Live. And then, of course, Jen Duplicis and myself will also keep an eye on um, any questions that you ask or any chat that you have. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. to have you. you guys. I miss you. I haven't seen you for a couple weeks. I know. I know. It's good to have you back uh, helping facilitate this weekly call. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have Todd Bookspan today. He is taking some personal time. Uh, Michelle Town is in Palm Springs, getting ready for the pool. So Michelle, if you hear the recording, how are you doing? Uh, Bill, we have Bill Hillstad as today's featured guest. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. Good, well, um, we had a massive week in Mortgage Coach land. So we, <laughs> did, this, we, we did the Script Palooza event. Uh, we had over 2,000 people register for the event, and we had we almost hit 1,000 on Zoom. I think we peaked out at about 970, you know, loan officers, wow. you know, on Zoom at the same time. And then we had, you know, 50-ish in and out of uh, Facebook Live. So we had over 1,000 mortgage professionals all meeting up at the same time. That was pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah. cool. Yeah, Bill, you, you had sent me a message about um, uh, the whole event, Scriptapalooza. What, what did you hear about it? Oh, no, I was just blown away. Uh, honestly, you should do that more often. I, I, that I would have happily paid for that many times over. I think anybody would have. Anybody who didn't get it, anybody who didn't see it, yeah, it's just really, really powerful stuff. Yeah, no, it was, it was powerful getting that many – successful mortgage professionals on a call. The goal was to keep them at about seven minutes each. And, you know, for seven to 10 minutes, they brought some just incredible scripts. So uh, the recording, it's in our YouTube channel. I mean, I'm gonna look and see, I wouldn't be surprised if we're past the thousand views. You know, late yesterday we were past 600. So I do believe it will also be one of the most viewed webinars we've done. We are trying to think about what can we do to make that more valuable to the community? You know, should we um, edit specific scripts and promote those? If you did have a highlight, like, hey, I really loved this person's script and I really loved this quote, let us know what you liked best. So if you're on this mastermind right now, let me know who your favorite speaker was at Script Palooza. And also let us know if you have any ideas on how we can make that you know, that amazing event that we did live, we can make it even more valuable to help you take action on it going forward. Uh, you know, you want us to transcribe it, you want scripts, you know, what, what do you want that would make that more valuable to you going forward? And the more specific you could be, the better. Uh, so, so um, Jen, anything on Script Palooza before I transition to our next topic? Um, no, other than I can tell you right now, I, I mean, I haven't had a chance to listen to it because I, I do all of that on Saturdays during my time blocks, but um, I can tell you right now that I'd want it transcribed, but, you know, you can get it transcribed for like $3, so if you need help with that, let me know and I'll get it transcribed for you. Yeah, I know. Well, we use Rev.com, so in fact, it may have already been submitted to Rev.com. Okay. Yeah, uh, Dave, Dave Gallegos did that for you already, Dave. Reach out to, to yeah, Dave. Oh, my God! All right, well, we'll give a transcription at a minimum, and I'm sure I'll write some articles, and we'll think of different ways we can make it valuable. But the more we know break it up. what we think was valuable, the better we can break it up into things that are valuable. Yeah, organize it so that I can go through by category and pick it out. If I'm, if I'm getting ready to go call on realtors, and I can go and look up and see, oh, yeah, here's the script on how to deal with, I've already got a, got a mortgage yeah. relationship that I like. I need to be able to find that script right away and just practice that one. Love it. So we will, we will do that and we look forward to your feedback and I'll make a list of things that we can do to make it awesome. So let's um, transition to the big topic of today, which is we also announced the winners to the referral magnet contest. And for anyone that you're like, what's a referral magnet? Uh, it is a contest that we did where, 
you know, really the, the rules were pretty simple. You just, it needed to be a Facebook video. So you need to record a video, you need to publish it in our Facebook group. And, and then it need, you know, it needed to be a sell. This was not just value, value, value. This was, Hey, I want to tell you, um, I want to share some information on how I can help you. And the hook at the end, Gary V calls it the right hook. Robert Stover just calls it the hook is, is, Hey, I want a total cost analysis. So what were the benefit statements, the headlines at the front end? What was the message? And the only goal was it had to have a hook. And we announced uh, Dan Keller is one of the winners and Bliss Sawyer is one of the winners. If, if you haven't watched both of their videos, I have pinned them to the top of our group. So it is the very top post in our group, both the winners. And um, so Stover, who I have frequently, he, he thought those were the two best. And we did this contest with Bill Hillstad. So, you know, Bill really made the call. Bill, why don't you, before we, you know, get into st strategies and ideas, what was it about those two that you thought, um, why you picked them? Oh, well, I, I love the style of, of Bliss's. Uh, I have people do the same thing with the notes and stuff all the time. It was short. It was sweet. It was good social media content. Uh, um, caught my attention. Dan, he delivers authenticity. That's the real key to this. It's we we want to look good so bad when we do videos. We try to be professional. We end up not acting like ourselves. Just thought it was good information, casual, well delivered. Um, I like that there wasn't a lot of editing to it because everybody wants to edit and they want to make, no, no, just, just shoot a video. It's all it takes. Keep it simple. Um, I can't wait to work with the two of them and see if now we can make those better lead grabbers, but they were both, they were just good, authentic videos, real people. Yeah, no, I agree. And I want to show my desktop real quick. If you guys could just confirm that you can see my desktop real quick. I want to just make sure you guys can see that right here, these are the two winners. Uh, Dan, Bliss, their videos, the actual videos are down below that. So click and watch that if you've missed it. Uh, you know, Bliss has, this was not the one she actually won for. This was a new fun one, which by the way, great. You know, it was a great social share. So Bliss is killing it. By the way, Bliss, do you happen to be on today's call if you are? Raise your hand. I'm going to go try to find you. Um, it'd be great to bring her into the conversation. Uh, let me type real quick. Bliss. Oh, there she is. Her hand is raised. Bliss, I'm going to promote you to a panelist. And you should be uh, on stage with us now, Bliss. How you doing? She'll be right back. She's finishing up a call. Love that. <laughs> on with the client. <laughs> right on. And uh, so we'll, we'll bring Bruce into the conversation in a minute. But Bill, I would love to just kind of live rift. What are some of the things that they need to do now to turn them into the maximum, you know, lead generation video? They've got some great videos. What do we need to do now to turn them into uh, leads? All right. So uh, uh, one part of the contest, Dan, uh, Bliss, if you guys – want to reach out to me and connect directly. If you want to send me a copy of your video, I would love to take some passes at editing and changing it and actually do this for you and, and help you with the posting and, and we'll see what works. But straight up, um, number one, most important thing, you've, you've got to give people a reason to click. When I'm scrolling through Facebook and there's you know thousands of posts, what's gonna make me stop when I'm, you know, thumbing through and click on on your post and that's to me that's the big thing that's missing uh dave if you'll let me share my screen i'd like to um yeah so what by the way while you're doing that bliss i have unmuted you uh let me know if we can hear you yeah can you hear me boom how are you doing Good. getting a little echo but now the, the echo is gone by the way okay <laughs> there we go all right, so just know we have Bliss ready to engage. No. All right. Let me see, let me see your screen. All right, so uh, I don't know if anybody saw it, but I put up a 
video and gave some feedback after I'm not sure whose post or what thread or whatever, because that's the main key is how do I get you to click and actually watch my video? I've got to give people a reason. And I think I showed before Dave that one example where I did a video and it was just a talking head and I was at $192 a lead after I boosted that and generated just a couple leads. I took and I put a little clip at the beginning and I used the word Zillow in it. I was targeting realtors and I dropped to $3.81 a lead from 192 bucks to $3.81, the exact same video, but I put a teaser on the beginning. I put a headline on the beginning. So what I would do, what I'd like to do for both of these videos, square videos will pull you about double the viewership of a rectangular video because they're so much bigger on people's phones, more real estate. And because I can get the headline at the top, by the same token, I can get the branding benefit, the brand impression. Even if somebody does a scroll by and doesn't click, I still get the brand if I put my brand at the bottom. So we tend to put these meme style wrappers on all of our videos. And I did this collection of them and posted it. But these are the kind of headlines that and I'm not saying these specific headlines. I don't know what's compliant and what's not. But when I'm scrolling through and I'm a whatever, potential borrower, something's got to grab my attention. And how to know what the best loan option is for you, you know, without a total cost. And that's, that's my issue with the, like, Dan's video is great. But when you look at the beginning and you'll watch it, it's intro stinger and it's Dan, he's introducing. And I think I had to get in about 30 seconds before he actually said something to me, the potential borrower, the stranger who doesn't know him, the potential borrower, you, you gotta open with me. It's all about me and that's the biggest thing to everybody today. This isn't here to make you look good. This isn't about you. We don't care about your company. We don't, and it's really hard to accept this. Nobody cares about me. If I'm the one doing the video, if I'm the viewer, I'm who I care about. So we have to open with what's for them. So I put this up and attach this in there, you know, but where are the smoke and mirrors of the mortgage rate and fee game? You don't care about rates and fees. You care about the, and just, just hit me with the benefit. That's all I want is the benefit. Shock me, uh, uh, make me curious. So I put together all these that I thought were powerful headlines or possible headlines or the idea I'd like to play with some different headlines and look I test everything you never know what's gonna work and what's not gonna work but I'd like to play with your video bliss and with Dan's and try putting them in some wrappers like this try putting some headline on the screen but the first thing I got to see is a reason to click so I've either got to be curious I've got to be shocked I've got to be entertained I've got to, I've got to, you've got to evoke an emotion in me and then I'll click and then maybe I'll watch your video. So, so I would like to say a couple things here and I'm actually getting ready to put a post in our Facebook group. Uh, and before I tell you what I, what the post is going to say, what he's talking about right now is the star. So if you've been on the calls where Robert Stover, one of our marketing experts has been talking about how to, how to get people, whether it's to respond to an email, you know, whether it's respond and watch a video, it's got to start with the star and the star is the benefit. So star equals benefit. And every, I'm not going to repeat everything Bill just said, because he, he laid it out. You've got to have a great star now in Stover's framework, which I'm a huge fan of. And I'm a fan of it because it's so simple. It's star chain hook. So we'll, we'll do more defining on that. In this particular video, the hook was the total cost analysis. The star is a lot of things. So I am putting a post in right now saying, what is your best star slash benefit for people that don't know what star means for a total cost analysis? And by the way, last night I posted, what is the best star for a cost of waiting analysis? Because that's another really good hook in today's market. What is the cost of waiting? And uh, by the way, one of the, this, what I'm hearing was one of people's most favorite scripts. Uh, not saying it was the favorite, but one of the, let's say top three was Danny Harani's um, counter offer analysis. It was towards the end of Script Palooza, and he talked about that. And it was really just a cost of waiting analysis. 
but it was during the counter offer process. So, so I want to, I want to unleash the power of this community, whether you do it while we're having this call or whether you do it afterwards, um, in the posts that I'm putting in our group right now, what is your best star slash benefit for total cost analysis? Let's get a lot of comments, lay out what some of your best star headlines are. And then of course, Bill, keep it rolling. It looks like you already started the party for everybody, but I would love to collect as many star benefits as we can for a total cost analysis. Back to you, Bill. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I want to do. But what I hope we can do moving forward, and I don't know what the format is and whatnot, but for the people like Bliss that will play and, and, and Dan and, and that want to do this, I, it's just tests for me. I mean, I literally, every time I do a post, I test at least five headlines. I'll do at least five versions of it. And I'd be happy to show people like my own Facebook account and show you how longer headlines tend to pull better than shorter headlines and which ones. And I never know what's going to pull. So when I come up with all these ideas, I don't try to figure out which one's best. I, I run them all and I see. And the key is once we find it, once we stumble into a couple of these, everybody in the community can use it over and over and over. And, and we're really just creating these lead magnets. And I had up here just what I was saying before. This was a video that I did for a, somebody I was doing an event for. They asked me to make an, a, a video explaining what I was going to talk about. I did. I didn't realize they were going to run it as an ad. But this video, I went out and I just found a clip. So my star in this one, it's called a tribal headline. People can't scroll past something if, if it's about their tribe. Well, a realtor can't scroll past the word Zillow. It's not possible. So I saw this funny little clip of a sheep and a farmer, and I dropped this headline on it knowing that a realtor can't scroll past the word Zillow. And by the way, if you live in, in Portland, Oregon, all you got to do is put the word Portland, maybe a picture of uh, something that people will know is Portland. That's tribal enough to make me go, whoa, what, what is this for me? And that's all it takes. And so I took this little thing with the sheep and put Zillow is turning us into a bunch of sheep. You want to take control? That's it. That was my star. I put that on the beginning of my video, same video. And I went from $192 a lead, a registrant, people that registered for the event, to $3.81 a registrant. And that's the total difference. And that's what everybody tends to miss is the, it doesn't even have to be about mortgage. It could be something unrelated. Sometimes it's the text. Sometimes it's the picture. Sometimes it's a video clip you find. But you got to make me stop and click and watch the video. And once I've clicked and I start watching, make sure you go straight into what's in it for me. You got to engage me out of the gate, but don't make it about you. And that's, that's the hardest thing. I, I, that's at the end, who you are, your company, why you're good at what you know. No, 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 no. Just straight up make me curious. So I can't wait to start playing with people and seeing what their stars are. But what I'd like to do is just start testing them. And Bliss, what we'll do is we'll just start running these in like $10 increments instead of running it all at once. And we just, we test and test and test. And when you look at one of my accounts or one of my clients' accounts, what you'll see is video with a couple hundred views, video with a couple hundred views, video with a couple hundred views, video with 20,000 views. And they're all pretty much the same, but you're just putting things up. And you don't even worry about what you're putting up and you're putting a $5 boost on everything and you see what it does. And when one works, you double down and put a little more money on it. And if it works, you can just keep putting money on it. I can show you guys accounts with hundreds of thousands of views of a loan officer, loan officer standing at a whiteboard talking about fees and rates and whatever, you know, your loan officer stuff is. And you're going, nobody would ever watch, no, nobody would ever watch that organically. But it, once you find one that converts well, you just pour money at it and you can do it over and over. Anytime you want leads, you just, eh, I'm running 20 bucks a lead. I want another 10 leads. Here's 200 bucks. Bam, phone rings 10 times. And it's that simple. And that's what we're looking for, guys. We're looking so, so, for that. So, Bill. I think at least anybody that's watching this call and has watched a few of the past calls on the lead magnet, they get it. We want you guys to have a video that can generate leads for you. 
um, where people are either emailing you, private messaging you, or calling you saying, I want my total cost analysis, or whatever you want to call it. It could be rent versus own. It just has to be powered by mortgage coach, a unique presentation for that family. So I want to be as transparent as possible. I know you and Bliss probably need to have some dialogue, you know, offline before she takes over, but I want to start that interview right now. So, um, you know, if Bliss has questions for you, I'd love to hear them if you have questions for her. And then folks, we got Bill Hillstad here and you guys are learning how to go from an idea to a video and, and we're gonna be very transparent about it. And here we're gonna show you, you know, how to actually create these videos, advertise these videos and generate leads on Facebook. So Bill, why don't you go first with any questions you have for Bliss. And remember folks, I'm gonna keep an eye in both Facebook Live and in the chat here, if you have questions, I'll bring them in um, over the course of the next 40 minutes. So, yeah. Bill. So, so real quick, um, there is a couple. There are a couple of questions in there. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, no problem. But in one, a few comments, but one question. One of the questions is, um, Bill, when you say a square video, are you saying rectangular square? Are you saying because I think they're just not sure about an actual square. square? Square, square. I was going to um, answer it that way, but it's up to you. Yeah, I mean actually square. What I do is I go into whatever my video program is, whether you're using one that came with your computer, which is great, one on your phone, uh, uh, Camtasia, and if my video is 1920 by 1080, which is a normal HD video format, I'll just make it 1080 by 1080. So your video, the one you shot on your phone or your whatever, will just be a rectangle in the middle of the square, which leaves me room for the headline on the top and bottom, like a meme, or headline on the top and my branding info on the bottom. But you gotta think about when you're looking at your phone, instead of the little sliver of a rectangular video across the middle, if you make it square, it takes up almost twice as much room on your phone, makes it much bigger, and it gives me a place for that headline, that reason to click. So yeah, I mean actually square. Good question. And, we will, and, and, and guys, you will get to see this makeover take place where you can see what Dan submitted, you can see what Bliss submitted, you can see how Bill helps them fine tune it, and you'll get to see it happen. So remember, if you have questions, keep them going. So Bill, any, any questions you have for Bliss and then Bliss, uh, let's for the next however long it goes, have you guys just talk it out it yet. and we can move forward. Have you run it yet, Bliss? Have you run any of your videos? No, as an ad? No. Yep. Is my sound okay, Dave? So it, 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 it is. is. Okay. Open, Bliss. Let's see yeah, if this you, is better. Yeah, but then you need to turn it off on your computer. Um, I think that's what's going on is you have two mics. Why don't you hang up the phone? Yeah. Can you hear me? Perfect. You oh, fixed the problem. I didn't know that worked. Yeah, technology is not my friend. Okay, so um, here's whoa, whoa, my whoa, whoa. Well, I want, I want to stop real quick. Guys, listen to this. So technology is not Bliss's friend, but yet she's figured it out. She <laughs> uses more code. She does Do it. it. Yes. So for anybody out there that's saying technology is not my friend, and yet I'm not upgrading my game, you could do it. So by the way, love it, Bliss. That's why I'm making new friends. Bill, you and me, I think we need to go to Vegas. The whole double down thing, Blackjack, you and me. Yeah. <laughs> this is my Vegas, by the way. It I, is. It I is. love playing with the money I can put up on Facebook and seeing what happens. Uh, I'm happy to open up my own account. You can see last year, and remember, I'm the nerd that hides from the world. I don't want people to find me. I change my phone number so people can't find me. But I had three and a half million views last year and spent like 11,000 bucks playing with Facebook, which is three tenths of a cent per view everybody should be spending at least 500 or a grand a month on Facebook. And by the way, average cost for a loan in the last year for me, 287 bucks. Okay. Wow. How many would you like to buy? Yeah. So, so that's, you gotta, you gotta play with this. All right. So here's actually, let's start out with that. And the reason, part of the reason I posted that second video, cause it's very, very different from the first video is that that's my first question, Bill. Which of those two videos would you recommend I use to start? Both. With? 
both. Okay, so both this videos. Everybody's got to get this. Forget your fear. Try, try straightforward and stoic. Try professional and articulate and and you know okay. uh, more of dance. Be weird and goofy and animated like me, and just put them out there and see and put them out there and see. And by the way, if you don't want to do a video, if you don't want to be on video. I think I put up an example uh, of one I did because I was just trying to, sh to test something for a video marketing class. I made a PowerPoint. I put transitions between the slides. I went into PowerPoint and so export as movie. And most people don't know you can do that. And, and PowerPoint will export your PowerPoint as a movie. I made it square slides. And that's no sound, no text no it was just a powerpoint and i made that and i was at nine dollars and 32 cents a lead with a powerpoint movie you, you never know till you test something so that's the whole fun of facebook is every day god if everybody in this group would just take 10 bucks a day that's starbucks once on the way to work and once after lunch 10 bucks a day and just run something different every day in, in no time you'd have these these things that you can use anytime you want leads you just turn them on so yes both of your videos are great I'd like to run both of them at least five times each with five different headlines or five different rappers or five different stars so, uh, <laughs> so you even saying that makes me start to feel anxious not and so simply for the reason of from here to pushing the button to do it I'm not sure exactly what all that entails. Now, the cool thing is I've got someone helping me, right? Um, hired a millennial. He's my loan partner. He's in the process of getting licensed. He's actually uh, into videography, so he kind of helped me with all of that, which I think made it much better. And so I need to know how to <coughs> him on what to do. So, Bill, any what is the actual – first of all, I'm assuming from what you're saying, the next step is we need to – Send you both videos so you can help us tweak them into Square. Um, yeah, but we yeah, can actually, I'll, I think we should do that. Of, of Square. What I'd like to do is maybe set up a, a time early next week when we can get on a screen share uh, um, and either you can let me in to play inside of your Facebook account or you can make me an admin and I'll do it offline. I'd like to record what we do because what I have up on my screen right now is what I want to do. I want to. I want to go through the targeting with people because okay. uh, it, you realize like for your first time buyers, I can target people who are interested in buying a house, who are interested in being a first time home buyer, who are, and I've just got random stuff up here, but yeah. who've been looking at grant money for home buying, who are uh, uh, like the show flipping out uh, uh, I, income, I'm not saying that that's compliant to target my income or exclude income, but. Um, do I want to, and I excluded people that were making over 150 grand a year. That's maybe not my first time buyer target, or maybe I just want to exclude 250 and over, but we can get people who are interested in doing a prequel people who are, and, and on and on and on. And we'll, your little rent thing, mm -hmm. I don't know, dang, I don't know. Can we find people that actually live at home and make over 75,000 a year and we'll play with the target other problems <laughs> and and then we just we just put it out there and see and then you get the feedback and you tweak it and you test it and you play well, and with my, it it's my theory too with that one is it's I'm actually not even just targeting people that live in mom's basement right I'm targeting people to that watch that they'll be like yeah really you know what I should buy a house right we're yep. in an interesting market here where our appreciation has gone through the roof but our incomes haven't and we have a 10 year shortage of housing. And I think I mentioned that in the first video I did because I want people to realize even though they think it's become a little bit unaffordable to buy a house, if they don't buy a house now, um, they're going to really price themselves out of the market. And so maybe that's something that we can do with that headline in there. So the headline grabs um, even more people's attention. And so, yeah, I would love whatever help you want to can give on that. Let's start testing it next week. Yep, yep. And then that's Dave. I think we just keep doing that with people in the community. I don't know if we can have a thread or a whatever. Uh, um, and this, this great irony, guys. I, I don't even know how to talk the language. I'm not a social media guy. I'm just a marketer. 
using the exact same techniques that I used 30 years ago when there was no internet. I, I, you don't have to be a techie. It's just, you gotta speak to the customer. You gotta, you gotta get their attention out of the gate. You gotta offer some benefit right up front. It's reach, impact, and frequency. That's it. That's the only three things that matter. I need to hit people over and over so they get used to seeing you because they rarely just go, oh, look, there is a complete stranger. Let me call them up. They need to see you all the time or see you enough times that they feel like you're familiar to them. And that's the whole key to this. And guys, it, it's you just got to jump out and start doing it. And it takes so little money, but you got to stick with it in order to make it work. And I've got, this is what we're going to do, Bliss. We're going to jump in. So I see you, that you're in this um, Hootsuite at Espresso. Is that something that I need to get? No, as no. It's, it's, and I'll use this because it's easier for old non-millennials like me to run a lot of stuff. Um, but you can just go straight into Facebook and do it. But I like to use it when I'm talking to you like right now because it, the analytics are presented more nicely. And instead of having to go look at reports, I can show you that this picture gave me a $13 lead and this picture gave me an $80 lead. Only difference in the ad, those two pictures. Headlines, uh, and the fix and flip, obviously, uh, um, loans here. The long headline, $14 lead. Short headline, $26 lead. It's the littlest stuff. And then who's reacting to it? And what audience is uh, converting best for me so that in the future I target that audience more? That's the so I can only see this, those kind of deep statistics in Hootsuite? No, no, no. It's all in so Facebook. That's it's, in Facebook as well. Okay, great. Yeah, it's just, like I said, this is easier for presenting in a situation like sure. this because it's a, a I just clean think that's pack. super valuable. So I want to make sure I, the analytics are going to be phenomenal if we can see that. So that's great. Yeah, you know what? I love Ad Espresso. I don't want people to go, because everybody always wants to prepare to sell, right? So they spend all their time going, well, first I got to get my video studio set up and I got to practice with my thing and I got to go get that Ad Espresso thingy and then I got to learn how to use that. No, you, you, you shoot a video that says, hey, here's something you need to know. Call me if you want to know it. And you put it up with some money behind it and you start seeing it work. And once you get the habit of putting content out there, and this is what I try to tell everybody, first things first, we're not gonna do anything else until you start posting content, until you suck it up and start putting yourself out there to be embarrassed, because we're all so afraid of being embarrassed. Man, when you can get over it and just start putting it out there, then yeah, 49 bucks a month for Ad Espresso, then it's worth it, because then you can manage and the reason it's worth it, by the way, is because it's easier to do this. I'll just show you all ads. Well, look, here's my Instagram ads. Here's my mobile ads. Here's my desktop feed. And go show all 48. What? Yeah, I went in there and wrote a bunch of headlines uh, uh, or a handful of headlines. And then I put a handful of pictures in there. And it combined those into 48 different ads with all these different pictures. And this is what I was talking about. This works the same way in Facebook, guys. You don't need this. But play and pause. I can see this one, and I can scroll over and see what my cost per lead is. And go, oh, yeah, I'm running 10 bucks a lead on this one. If I hit the play button, that sucker would start running right now. And I would keep picking up leads at roughly $10.34 a piece. And, and by the way, the cheapest lead is not always the best. So I'm really looking forward to running Dan Keller's because – I would never click on that. It's just the talking head. It's got his logo and everything, and it's clearly self-promotional. That, that's too ad-ish. It's not entertainment. But if you put a bunch of money behind a video like that, when people do actually watch it, because that's the hard part. Who's going to watch it? Well, yeah, I'm just going to pay a bunch of money and shove it at the world, and I'm going to get views, and I'm going to, you know, Facebook wants their money. They're going to keep shoving it at people. And they're going to automatically optimize the people that are most likely to click on that kind of video. When I get somebody who actually watches it and then clicks the button, that's going to be a really, really good lead. So guys, sometimes I don't want the grabbiest headline because it gets me a whole bunch of 
crappy leads. I don't want a whole bunch of 19 year olds with a 480 FICO and, and a paper route. You know, I, I, I might want a worse headline that screens people out. So it'll be fun to test, but, but the main thing is just that you start doing it. Just like I said, everybody here, just commit five bucks a day. Just give me five bucks a day and every day put up something with five bucks behind it, hit the same audience with it over and over. People will get used to seeing you. They will click through. You will get leads. You will crush what your CRM is doing as far as just staying on top of stuff. Plus you got to do more entertaining stuff like that. That just hits this, your, your audience over and over and over your yeah, Facebook a, contacts, your yeah, LinkedIn contacts. Crazy idea. So Bill, you are, you and Dave have gotten us so motivated. We're actually going to do an eight to 10 series. It's going to be a spoof like on a TV show. So an F, F, eight to 10 episodes of, um, me in a suit, you know, the loan officer interviewing a client who's also me, kind of that double thing, um, oh, I love it. in different personalities. And they're going to be short. It's going to be maybe 60 to 80 seconds long. And uh, so, yeah, you super motivated us to be creative. So, yeah, your help with this and experimenting with these two videos actually is going to prepare us then to be able to take that idea and probably just. I don't know. I think we're going to kill it. So yeah, way, uh, we need to learn how to do it. On so, what you're talking about, that's a great format. If you set your phone up on a tripod and record and you never touch it, you got to have a Bluetooth remote. If you touch it, you'll, you'll move it. You'll wiggle it. But because the room is fixed in the same place, you can walk into one side and start talking wearing one outfit. Mm -hmm. And then you come back later and walk in the other side wearing a different outfit or a wig or whatever. Or just in the same outfit. And I've got yeah, two opinions. Yeah. Yeah, you can have a dialogue with yourself. You can argue with yourself. It's that grabs my attention. That makes it entertaining. That'll that'll suck me in. And like I I don't remember what I did on what webinar. I do so many of these, but guys, everybody should be out there following a half a dozen or a dozen other people that are doing this. Let's just go out on Facebook. Find people, do, do a search on Facebook, site colon Facebook. That way you're only searching Facebook on Google and search for NMLS. So the only person that's going to have that in a post is a loan officer. And then in quotes, uh, uh, quote, K space views, close quote. Remember, when you put it in quotes, it's an exact match search. When I say quote, K space views, quote, I'm only searching for um, uh, anything that has over a thousand views because it's gonna be 1.2K views or 32K views and then say videos. Now you're searching Facebook for any loan video, anything with NMLS in the post that has over a thousand views and scroll through a hundred of those and follow a half a dozen of those people and then you'll see the stuff that people that are getting over a thousand views of video are doing. And when you find somebody that's got a lot of them and they're doing it regularly, because they're paying to get that kind of views, you know it's working. You know they're getting leads. And now I want to see their stuff all the time because it'll feed me ideas. Everybody should follow Bliss if she's going to start doing this. I do need more friends, so thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey guys, I want to I want to say a couple things. So. One, I, I have organized the um, mortgage coach page so that one, I put this post up. What is your best star slash benefit slash headline to get someone into a total cost analysis? You know, to call up and say, <laughs> I want this. I have pinned to the top, it hasn't shown up yet, the post I did the other day, which is what is your best star for the cost of waiting analysis? So we have two winners. We've got Bliss. We've got Dan. They're going to get help from Bill. They're going to get $100 each to help, you know, crack the code and create this referral magnet. And I, I want to throw it out there. While the first round of this contest is over, if someone else creates an amazing video that Bill and I are just like, oh, my God, we want to run with that thing, I am willing to put up another $100. I know Bill is working, worth willing to help, you know, crack this code. So... So keep submitting referral magnet videos. 
I'm not going to tell you we're going to pick one over the next 30 days. Who knows? We may not pick one over the next 30 days. We may pick one next, two of them next week. Um, so please keep your videos coming. You know, any video that you think would help get a borrower, say, I want a total cost analysis. I want a rent versus own. I want a cost of waiting. Call it whatever you want, but it's a, it's a right hook that gets them to create a TCA for you. We're given scholarships. We're putting in ad dollars to help you guys figure out how to make the phone ring with mortgage coach leads. Think of it as like a, another mortgage coach lead, which I do believe is going to be the best lead you could possibly get from Facebook. Um, so, I agree. so Jen, um, you've been pretty quiet. I want to give you an opportunity to either ask Bliss or Bill a question or provide some thoughts. Jen? Um, thank you. No, I've, I've just been watching, you know, every time I listen to Bill, I, I just like you, um, Bliss, I get a little angst and he knows this because Bill's actually coaching me right now. Um, and <laughs> I've had hours and hours of this, this kind of, you know, coming at me sort of thing. And I'm, you know, you're just a genius when it comes to this bill. There's no question about it. Um, and I thank you for all that you're sharing with us, um, today to make us better. And, uh, you know, I'm, I think, you know, where, where, where I'm struggling with this is finding the time to do the videos, like you were saying, you know, and it's not, it's not because I have to look great or have lights on or anything like that. It's just literally finding the time to do the videos. Um, we've already created all the content. I have thousands and thousands of items of content. Um, it's just, and it's funny because it's coming from someone like me who's a coach who says, stop talking and take action, you know, shut up, go do it. Yeah. And it's amazing that I'm in that same, that same position right now because it's just a foreign thing. I mean, all the, all the moving parts to this is just so foreign. And I think if we can, um, you know, for everybody, if we can chop it down into small bite-sized pieces, um, I think that everyone would be willing to take, you know, a, a, that initial step, do some homework, that next step, do some homework, um, but I have to say that, you know, I, I know that this is out there for me. I just, I have to stop talking about it and start doing it and really carve out the time, um, to get, to knock out these videos. You know, that's really what it's about because I'm in a great position where as soon as I knock them out, Bill's going to put them all together, right? <laughs> you and Christy, my assistant, which by the way, bless, I've had my assistant on, on my calls with me. So she's learning all of this. Um, so that I don't have to learn all of it in the same room. Yeah. Right. We're both absorbing all of this great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know what, this is the perfect example because Jen, you are, <laughs> you've been doing this forever. You're, you're like, you're a professional speaker. You're so good on video. Uh, all, all you got to do is just, just put the budget in there and start, start and you don't have to make special videos all your posts should be getting some boost all your stuff it's traffic people getting to see you all the time you become larger than life everything gets it and then when you say make time to do videos my personal favorite is my cradle in my my car i love shooting videos while i'm in the car and i'm not going to tell people to do it while you're driving because then they're going to crash and blame me but i don't care park mm -hmm. parking lot whatever Everybody should follow. Here's another one to follow. Follow Jessica Riffle Edwards on YouTube. She's the number one realtor on YouTube. 95% of her videos are shot from the front seat of her car. No editing, no nothing. Just her phone, front seat, yakking away. And you'll realize, oh my God, I, I could do that. Um, it's just, just start doing it. Just start getting the views and everything else will happen. Start getting the views. If everybody were to put, like I said, five bucks a day in there and, and found yourself averaging a penny of you, you're going to be getting, plus some organic, you're going to be getting a couple thousand views a week, no matter what. Yeah, I put in about 25 bucks a week. I get two, three, four, five thousand views a week. You start getting that much viewership, the rest will fall into place. Your videos will evolve. Your topics will evolve. But right now, even if you just shoot something that says, Hey, I saw a really great article on blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, if you want to read it, I put a link down below. That's it. It's just the videos. Before I share something, I just introduce it and point to it. That's it. But that's All right. Step one. So, guys, we got about 15 minutes left. I want to make sure I really nail it home that this, this post right here, 
again, I pinned it to the top. What is a good star? Again, remember that means benefit. Um, maybe I'll edit it so I actually put the word benefit for a cost of weighting analysis. Also want to shine a light on Dan Keller actually took the time and he shared a star and a hook. So guys, this is what I'm talking about. I'm looking for everybody who is participating, who's trying to turn in the fact that you're a mortgage coach into a lead generation opportunity to share your best star. So again, Dan is an overachiever. He did even more than just put in a headline. He kind of put in a whole kind of half of a script. But whether you want to put in a half a script or whether you want to just put in the headline, I love the word you said. Um, I think it was the first time I interviewed you, Bill, probably over a month ago, where it's like marketing is a team sport. And we've got, you know, we've got an incredible team here in the Mortgage Coach uh, Mastermind. You know, let's put the power of this community, the power of this team, so we can all learn quickly, rapidly, and upgrade how we're um, you know, generating leads through our Facebook stream. Yeah, you Jim, know what? That's oh, go it. ahead. Go ahead, Bill. Scriptapalooza is the perfect example because together you've got this with everybody's difference. You came up with this collection of amazing scripts. Now what we need is through everybody to come up with a bunch of stars or hooks, headlines, a bunch of video formats, a bunch of things that we can do that are easy. I've always been a fan of the one, like the one that you did, Bliss, just because that's what I do when somebody says, I can't do a video. Great, I grab a Sharpie. I'll do three or four things and I'll just say, do this and then do this uh, uh, and sit behind the camera and you can talk to them because no sound, no nothing, anybody can do it. Well, that's it. And then let's just share. I'm, I'm looking at some of these headlines I've got up here. Like one of them is two borrowers and the one with the lower rate paid more or got screwed or made a mistake or whatever. A headline like that and then like where Dan gave a story, the difference is give me a really short story and just just give me a fictional example of somebody who came in and they really wanted the lowest, or the loan officer sold them on the lowest rate, but they were only gonna be in the house for a while because they were relocating in a couple of years and they paid extra to get the pay the rate down, whatever, and they, they completely lost their ass because they didn't do a total cost analysis. And you could get that story out in less than a minute. You could have some numbers, and again, write them on a board and just go, borrower one, blah, 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 blah. Borrower two, blah, 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 blah. In net result, you see, you don't care about rates and fees, you care about money. How much money do you pay and what do you get? Don't trust somebody who doesn't do a total cost analysis. Or do another one with visual effects and use, uh, how about tax documents? And say, this is the government required mortgage disclosure, blah, 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 blah. Makes about as much sense as this. My K-1, my 1026, my blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, government forms aren't how you understand things. This is, see, total cost, what do I get? Total cost, what do I get? But real, don't give me details. Just give me outcomes. Just give me, just maybe go, what, what? And now I'm curious, and I'll hit the learn more button. If you want one for yourself, hit learn more. Never, ever, ever get a loan without a total cost. And that's it. Let's play with these headlines. I hope people will get that PowerPoint I did or watch the video and steal some of these and tweak them and make them better. But how do we move beyond rates and fees and get down to money? Because that's what we really care about. Yeah. And, and I can't wait to see the creativity of the community because you guys have really every mortgage coach changes the game on the average loan officer. You know, not just the fact that they're putting graphs and charts and devices, the fact that they're showing, hey, how to achieve your goals, how to build wealth faster with real estate. You know, do you really know the total cost of your loan over five years? You know, I mean, there's, there's just so much ammunition that you guys have that differentiates you from the average LO. Um, and I, I love what you said, because I do see a lot of mortgage coach members they get into the what, they get into the details. It's a lot of loan officer talk. And at the end of the day, we've got to talk. And if you're making the video for a realtor, it's all about speed, transparency. You know, the client has more clarity, so they have more urgency to take action. You know, if you're talking to a borrower, it's all about, you know, building, well, it's different to different borrowers, 
but you're providing an, an, a completely different level of transparency around what the true costs are, what the total cost is. So can't wait to hear what you guys come up with. We got nine minutes. Jen, you're up. Yeah. I'm just monitoring questions there for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bill, could you could you uh, maybe show your screen and go to Facebook or um, to go to Google and show the NMLS search the site search because we have two questions on that. Absolutely, about take a look at this. Yeah, you guys ready? Uh huh. Site colon. Anytime you start a search with site colon. You're only searching whatever site comes next. So this isn't just for Facebook, it's for anything. It's, it's how I search somebody else's website to find all of their landing pages, which aren't in the nav and they're hidden. And I want to see their cool landing pages because they're good advertisers. Guys, I don't make this stuff all up. I learned from the world benchmark. So site colon Facebook.com. Now I'm searching Facebook next. And look, I've already got a, a suggestion from Google here. That's if you want to see the exact phrase site colon facebook.com NMLS. I don't need that in quotes. I don't care where it is. K views is in quotes because I want it to be K space views, which will show up on every video. Now I'm going to click on videos. And by the way, another tool that I use a lot is uh, when you click on tools, I'll say anytime and I'll say, mm, how about the past year, the past month, whatever. So let's do this. I'm going to do videos in the past year. I don't want to see people's old videos. I want to see their new videos. And now I'm looking at nothing but mortgage videos with more than a thousand views on them. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to click on these and I'm going to watch them until I find something that is working. And I'll show you the kind of stuff I find. Um, uh, I don't know if these guys are part of the family or not, but. Um, uh, like Aaron Alvarez, uh, 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 look at this. I followed him. So I see his posts all the time. He does videos of houses with realtors. So they do it together. So realtors that want to do cool videos and posts and he gets insane, insane viewership. Everybody should follow Aaron Alvarez. Uh, there you go, Aaron, you owe me one. Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, reach, watch these guys, reach home loans. And this is a really powerful lesson, by the way, for everybody. When you look at this and you look at what they're doing and you look at all their videos, what you're going to notice is that, uh, like I was saying, look, 245 views. It's probably a really good video. And you'll go, man, why does that have 245 views? And that has 223,000 views. Because they make a video, they put it up without being nervous. Just throw it out. Who the hell cares? Put it out there. And then when one works, dude in front of whiteboard, really? But yeah, 223,000 views, they got bank into this. I mean, they, they got real money into this that would only happen for one reason. It's converting. And the more views I see, and this, this is what your video should look like. 173 views, 120,000. 178 views, 139 views, that's, that's what you should look like. Test, test, test. And then find one that works and you can use it for years into the future. You just, anytime you want, you just run it again. Okay, so there's a few more questions as we're finish, finishing up here. I just wanna make sure. Um, so some, uh, Jonathan was asking, can you, can you show a sample URL of search? Okay, I don't think that's it. Okay, All right, um, Amy asked if the award-winning videos are posted somewhere on the Facebook page. So Dave, maybe you can pop in there and show her where they're at because they're right there. Um, and uh, Jim Markham, he had, it's, um, you had K dot views, Jim, it's K space views. Um, somebody, Will's asking about the learn more button. Can you explain how to create one? And I don't know if you have oh, time to do that today. Time no, out, time out. I don't want to get into those leads right now. Uh, yeah. that we've got four minutes. Uh, so, so first of all, folks, if anybody wants to follow you, Bill, or connect with you, or hey, a, a lot of top mortgage coach leaders, Jen DePlissis, Dave Gallegos, Todd Bookspan, I mean, they've hired you and they're coaching with you to execute. But if people want to follow you or hire you, what do they do? Um, look, if you just go to 
billhillestad.com and then go to resources. Cause I do a, a, a webinar once a week just to make it easier to share this stuff. I don't charge for this. Everything is there. You can see there's, I don't know, 20 some odd weeks of trainings. There's headline creation documents. There's the tools to migrate your Facebook. There's a tutorial on how to export all your Facebook contacts. Guys, go watch that tutorial on how to export your Facebook contacts and make that a superpower you can share with realtors or other referral partners, but it's all up there. You can also see it on my YouTube channel. You can also see it on my Facebook page, but, but uh, or I made a shortcut that goes just to the resource page. It's marketing3.com. So every question you're answering, there's a tutorial up there or a webinar that's recorded. Um, so there you go, billhillestad.com. Appreciate it, Bill. And, and again, we've I've interviewed a number of other Facebook advertising coaches and leaders and, yeah, you know, I happen to, I'm personal friends with Bill and he is doing a lot for the community. And again, he's a very premium coach, you know, getting coached from Bill, I mean, is not something everybody can afford and invest in, but Bill, I'm grateful for all this, the, the free stuff that you give to the community, just like we give our YouTube channel. Uh, we, we bring a lot of value so that when we do have a right hook, People are paying attention. Uh, so for the, for the person that asked about the videos, if you scroll through our Facebook page, every single video is there. Um, I did use the tag referral magnet. So just, you know, one of the reasons why I put that tag in there is if you click on referral magnet, every video that has the tag referral magnet will show up. So the winners and the other ones you could go through. And anytime a video is posted into our YouTube channel, with hashtag referral magnet, boom, you can see it. Uh, I wanna remind folks, continue to create these videos. Just because we're not formally running the contest, one, you should do it for yourself. Forget about whether Bill and I help you. You should be doing this to help yourself. I mean, and then of course, we will be looking for another winner because we wanna, we know it's gonna take more than just two mortgage coach professionals to crack the code on how to create amazing referral magnets so hopefully this has been a valuable call for you we are at the top of the hour bliss thank you for participating leading do you have any last questions for bill or the community no i'm actually just super excited for bill to help me take it to the next step and then share that with everybody else so really excited let's do it next week all right and then jen i want to make sure if you have anything else you want to cover we got another minute here any last words from you Nope, nope, I don't have anything other than, uh, you know, well, I do. I do have something. Bill, uh, we had done a, um, a Friday call with you, and um, you had said Bill, Re Bill Hillstad um, resources, but you called it the smart sheet. So I just want to make sure everybody knows the smart sheet, and I think we already put a link in there once before, Dave. Um, maybe we could put that up there again so people don't have to go look for it. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put, we'll, your we'll, push, we'll put another post. Bill, if you could maybe make another post with your smart sheet, kind of push it to the top. Sure. Also, I want everybody to know Coach Bill Hart, who has been one of the most giving leaders to this mortgage coach community over the course of over a decade. Bill has been a friend of mortgage coach, you know, and he's been a guest. I think he's one of the most prolific leaders and coaches in the industry. He's got a book that he's been working on for a long time coming to market. I'm going to be interviewing Bill about that book this coming Monday. Uh, you know, put the power of the community around Bill. He's going to tell you how we can serve him. But trust me, reading this book is going to serve you. Buying this book is going to serve you. Um, come to this Tuesday's call, 9 o'clock Pacific, hear uh, the story behind Bill's book. Get a preview into some of the best practices and strategies he's going to be teaching. So. I'll see you this Tuesday at nine o'clock. This call is a wrap. Bill Bye. Hillstead, thank you very much, brother. Have a great weekend. Anytime. We'll see you. I hope you're on my calendar, Jen.